from Democracy at Work with another Econo Minute. The crisis of Puerto Rico is a crisis every American needs to pay attention to, because what is being done to Puerto Rico, rather like what was done to Detroit, is a sign of what is being prepared for most Americans sooner or later if the situation in this country continues to deteriorate economically as it has been since 2008. Here's the basic story of Puerto Rico in a nutshell. For decades, under economic pressures and difficulties, a collusion happened between the folks who run Puerto Rico's politics and the big banks and lenders here in the United States' mainland, mostly in New York. The lenders in New York saw in Puerto Rico an opportunity to lend fabulous sums of money at huge interest rates that would have to be paid back off the sweat, the labor, and the taxes on the Puerto Rican people. These loans could be given to the politicians inside Puerto Rico, who could sell a story to the Puerto Rican people that this was a wonderful way of managing their affairs. They could continue to get government services, not to worry about these loans. They wouldn't come due until the future. Well, the future has arrived. And the politicians who made their careers, and in many cases made millions personally off of all of these loans, are now either gone or in a position to play act in a theater as if they care. All along, the point of borrowing was not to have to tax corporations and not to tax the rich, neither in Puerto Rico nor in the border United States, of which Puerto Rico is supposed to be a part. So now the fight is what's to be done. And yes, you guessed it. The lenders want to get paid. The politicians don't want to take any of the fall for anything. So only question that remains is how much is going to be able to be taken out of how many of the three and a half million Puerto Rican people to pay off a broken system in which grasping lenders and crooked politicians get together, milk the system for 30 to 40 years, and then throw up their hands and wonder out loud how much the people can stand. Well, the problem isn't the politician and it isn't the lender. It's a system that makes this happen over and over again. Detroit, the largest urban bankruptcy in American history, and now Puerto Rico. Yes, those are poor, African-American and Hispanic-American parts of our country. But it would be naive not to see that it is on these vulnerable communities that the experiment is being made, and if they can get away with it there, you are next. This is Richard Wolff for Democracy at Work with another Econo Minute.